All right, I'm Grant Ward, and this is my narrative speech. Here is my proof of people. All right, so you got one, two, three, uh, four, five, and six. And then my brother, that's on FaceTime, so seven, if you count that. All right, so six years is a quarter of the time that I've spent alive. It's also the same amount of time that I've had the same job, same routine, and the same lifestyle. These past six years, I've been bored with my career. They say being bored is an insult to oneself. That's why I chose to go back to school, something I, to find something that I won't get bored with. I currently work up at the 148th Fighter Wing doing security. I love my job and all the cool benefits that come along with it. From working with tremendous leaders to talking to people that have been around the world. The pay is pretty good, especially coming right from out of high school. However, it's not without its downfalls. It's shift work. You know, I work two months days, two months nights. I haven't had the same schedule for longer than a year and a half. This is the first summer that I've actually kind of gotten to try and enjoy the summer. Just, I've always been on nights during the summer. This, this summer I'm on days. It's for these reasons I'm looking for something different. And that's why I chose to go back to school. When I first joined LSC, I was in the CNC programming. What a CNC machine is, it's about a machine that's about the size of a table. You can take whatever material you want, put it in there, and it'll carve out exactly what you program it to carve out. I thought that was pretty cool. You know, it's something mechanical. Not something that I've always wanted to get into. It's something mechanical. There will always be a need for somebody to program the robot to do something. The more I looked into it, the more I realized it's, it's a lot like what I'm doing now. It's shift work. You know, I still have the possibility of working the weekends or working nights. And then I started looking into the pay. And in some places, I'd actually be taking a pay cut starting out. While I was on nights, I started listening to a podcast, and the host was Ken Coleman. Ken Coleman works for Ramsey Solutions. If you know who Dave Ramsey, you know who Dave, who Ken Coleman is. Ken Coleman likes to, likes to consider himself as America's career coach. While I was listening to his podcast, he kind of told us his story. And when he was 35, with a wife and two kids, he decided to pursue his dream. As the sole provider of the house, this doesn't come as an easy decision. So he'd go to work during the day, go to school at night. And on Friday nights, you'd see him at his local high school, giving play-by-play -play at the football games. His passion was football. My passion was hockey. So, as I kept listening to this podcast, I decided that I'm not really pursuing my dreams. So, instead of doing the CNC, I decided to switch to business transfer pathways two days before the start of the next semester. Um, obviously, like doing one semester with the CNC and then switching it halfway through the year made me feel pretty behind. It made me really want to kickstart everything and try to get things done as soon as I can. As of right now, I'm on track to graduate from LC next spring with the plans of transferring down to Mankato the following fall and completing my four years in finance. So what I can see myself doing in finance is one of two things. One, working at a bank during the day and coaching hockey, my passion, at night. Or two, working with a government agency, preferably either the U.S. Forest Service, Bureau of Land Management, U.S. Fish and Game, or the Department of the Interior. These past six years have provided me with so much. I've got to see different parts of the world. I was able to buy a home. I met my beautiful and loving girlfriend. I now have the courage to tackle school not just do something quick and easy. 
through these past six years has taught me a lot. It taught me that all it comes down to is me getting out there and doing it. And I now finally can proudly say that I'm ready for the road ahead. That's my speech. That was fantastic.